Well, students at Rancho Cordova are showing off their creativity. The school district has put together a very fantastic show. So Big Al's there to check it all out. Hey! What are you doing? Yes, Careful. Yes. Hi. You break it, you buy Hi, it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Excuse me. I know. Hey, can't, can't mess with it too much. But listen, this is a great artwork. And it's done by the kids, the students here, uh, K through 12. We're here at the MAC, the Mills Station Art and Culture Center. And this is a really good exhibition here because these students are extra, extra talented, unlike me. But you know what? <laughs> Cheryl is here to curate everything here. This is an awesome piece of artwork here. Thank you. It's a. Uh... We're on our fourth year of doing this. We have over 400 pieces. Nice. And it, this show is a, a real labor of love, but it's to show the community how important art is in schools. Um, you know, when, uh, when we think about art, most people just think about it as a, a hobby or something like that. But art has so many teaching properties, um, ways to solve problems, uh, the, all the different materials and methods that you can use really opens kids' minds up to new possibilities. And you know what, I love the fact that, I, I, don't, I don't really like the fact that they think that it's just art is just a hobby. It's only been happening for what, a thousand years, two thousand years, plus uh, that? It, it should be something more important up the priority list, but you know what? I'm glad you guys are doing this because this, you guys are partnered with different, other different people other different groups for fundraisers to give them supplies and such uh, for their classrooms, yes? Yeah, our Rancho Cordova Arts Group, which is a nonprofit, does a fundraiser every year. Mm -hmm. And that fundraiser is our micro masterpieces. And we put that online auction. And once we pay the bills, we then donate supplies to the teachers yeah. so they can continue on. So kids can have art in schools because their budgets are so low teachers are pulling out of their own pockets for this yes yes and you know what is even better you get to sell the artwork you, any all of this is up for sale you, I'm not sure if it's a name your price thing but it's something hey I like this I'm gonna bring this into my home well and one piece is already sold sold on the very first day <laughs> and the, the other thing is it gives it gives kids and and young adults a voice, uh, a way to express themselves, a way to get their message out. It's art is just such an important. If we didn't have it, we wouldn't have much of a culture. Absolutely, and you know what? This is this is awesome. You gotta you gotta come have a look. I mean, the best, the most valuable asset you have is time. Take the time out, bring your kids, bring your family, and just check this out. And see, I love the fact that you're selling them, selling the artwork because it gives kids a chance to be motivated to keep this going. Maybe they can make a career of it. The next future artists, right? Absolutely. We don't know who's, I mean, there's so much talent. And this is pre-K through 12th grade. Mm. All Rancho Cordova schools, and we have three school districts here. So it's uh, it's pretty fascinating and over 400 pieces of art. Oh, awesome. Throughout the entire month of April, this is happening, the student art show. Hey, come check out the exhibition here at the MAC. All the information's on the screen. And hey, get your art on. This is beautiful. Right? I love it. And so many different pieces of art, too. We love that. Thanks, Thanks Al. Al.